Hey guys, welcome to today's... No. Hey guys, what is, what is this? Probably one of the most... Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be working in the living room and I'm super excited to finally do some styling. I've been mainly doing building and today's video is gonna be more about pulling a room together. If you've been around for a few months now, you'll remember this project. The built-ins, the shiplap, the electric fireplace. It was a blank wall when we moved into the house and it looks so much better. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out because it's one of my favorite projects that I've ever done. But since we did this project, I've done nothing else to the living room. So it's finally time to pull this room together. So before we installed the new floors in the living room, I wanted to go ahead and change out this fan. It, it only had one light bulb to light the entire living room and that was just not working. So I wanted to put one in with more lights and also I wanted to put one in that was closer to the ceiling and was white because I was hoping that it would blend in because the ceiling is not very tall in this room so I didn't want one that would stand out or ever run the risk of people hitting their head. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this one out for a different one. Starting off by styling the bookshelves. It can be intimidating for some people because it's a big blank space, but the first tip that I would recommend is find your inspiration, find your style. A really good resource for that is Pinterest. Like this, I have a whole Pinterest board of living room styles, so I know that I like a little bit more minimalist, really clean and light and airy. That's my personal style and that'll help me look at examples of what I'm looking for and give me a good place to start. Tip number two is to take everything off of your shelves. You wanna start with a completely blank canvas to work with. Tip number three, shop your own stash. And you can't use what you don't know what you have. You can't use what you don't know that you have. I had so much decor just piled up on top of each other, I didn't even know what I had. And now that it's all organized, I'm ready to style the shelves because I'll know exactly, oh yeah, I have that that I wanted to use. So let me show you how I did that. Oh my gosh, this front room and specifically this closet was out of control. I couldn't find anything, so I just took everything completely out of it. And then I brought in these shelves that I wasn't sure where I wanted to use, so I just stuck them in there to organize all of my decor on. This looking so much better. I have all of my stuff organized so I can see all of my decor when I go to decorate, like baskets, lamps, and these are all just like ceramic things, candle holders, clocks, filler pieces. And then metal stuff, books, candles, plants, and then all of my 
picture frames are in there and hooks and yeah so and then everything's organized in here for the things that I need more decor so now I know what I have I'm able to see my stuff and keep it organized a lot better stuff out you're gonna want to organize it like I have mine just kind of loosely organized with like trays and candles and glassware and ceramic plants books baskets picture frames decorative objects candlesticks and it, it'll just give you a better idea of what you have if you put it all together Tip number four is for those of you who don't have a collection of stuff like I do, and that is to shop. No, I just said that one. For those of you who don't have a collection like I do, and this is how I got most of my collection, is to go thrifting for your decor. These are some of the things that I've thrifted in the last few days because I knew I wanted some more things for this project. Some of them will stay just like they are. Some of them will get a makeover, but I wanna wait until I get the shelves dec decorated more and I just um, know what color I want them because I may put them somewhere because I like their overall shape and then I might, then I'll be able to decide, okay, it needs to be black or whatever. Tip number five is to start with your larger pieces. You wanna space those out because you're gonna come in later with filler pieces, but your bigger items, you wanna start with those first. The next tip is to space out similar items. I'm gonna have books and plants in a lot of different shelves, but I don't want any of those shelves to be right next to each other or on top or below. So that's what you see me doing right here is just making sure that there's nothing that's too similar too close to each other. Tip number seven is to get creative to make items custom to your space. One of the best ways to do this is with paint, and I'm gonna show you a few different ways. The first is this picture frame right here that was just a little more tan than I wanted, so I'm just using regular latex paint to paint it. The next was this bowl, and I just took some leftover latex paint again and watered it down because I wanted, or I thought I wanted, more of a watered down look. I ended up not liking it and just going over with the next method I'm about to show you, which is baking soda and paint. You're gonna wanna use two parts paint to one part baking soda, and it gives it kind of a, a chalky finish, more like it is stone, and I really like the way that this piece turned out. Okay, 
here's where here's how the bookshelves look so far i am not in love with all of the spaces so i went to target went to hobby lobby got some more things and i'm gonna keep working on them today it just takes time like you can't do it all at once or you're, or you're not gonna love it all and i'm sure probably after i'm done i'll end up changing them all the time but i just want to get them to a point where i'm happy with all of them okay i'll show you what i got while i was out shopping because i love watching these the first thing um the candle from target it smells so good it's from the hearth and hand line it's birch and amber so cute it smells so good i was like we should be able to use this somewhere on the shelves and then this chain link thing these are pretty popular right now so i don't know maybe we'll see if that works and then just got like a couple little candlesticks and then lots of new books. And I got these mainly because of the, the color, but I'm gonna take the jackets off of these and then they're a lot prettier. See? Oh, I forgot. <gasps> this wood bowl too I got from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off. All their fall stuff is 40% off right now. Tip is not everything has to be centered and symmetrical you can see at the top there where I'm adding these books they are off to the side where the shelf underneath it is centered in the middle of the shelf but the one underneath that has things on either end of the shelf and it just kind of gives it a variety makes it more interesting The last tip that I have is do whatever you want. Our home should bring us joy, so if you like the way something looks, that's really all that matters. This is another way that you can customize items that you might have laying around your house. I like the shape of this, but I did not like the color or just it was a little boring. So I taped off the bottom and gave it a couple coats of texture spray paint and then I just peeled the tape off and this is how it came out. Here is another idea for ways to make over things that you already have. I used some Rub and Buff um, from Hobby Lobby. I've used it a couple times in previous videos. It looks like that, but I used it just to tone down. Can you see how that one on the right looks more like bright gold? And I just wanted kind of a um, antique gold. And so I just brushed it on there. It's really, really quick and it just changes the look of it. It's just another way that you can use what you have or things that you really like, but you just wanna tweak just a little bit. It comes in lots of different colors.
shelves are officially done for now. <laughs> today's video the bookshelves are done I'm really happy with how they turned out make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss next week's video which is part two of finishing the living room it's gonna be a good one thanks so much for watching bye